Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We are streaming more Deliver Us Mars. We've made it to Mars, so that's that's uh, part of it. Now we just got to get the planet back to Earth. That is... Good luck! That's... You would think that would be the easy part. But... Probably not. Things have gone bad uh, uh, pretty quick. Uh, we don't we don't have a shuttle anymore. Um, we also we also don't have a Claire anymore, um, which is its own issue. the uh, The status of Sarah and Ryan is unknown, but we have uh, an Ayla at least, so we have a little uh, ball robot friend. So not all is lost. Um, we have a spacesuit, so it could definitely be worse. So there's that. Hi, Bob. Uh, but uh, we also have some content warnings, which have been updated since last time, now that I know a little bit more about what's on the horizon. Um, boy, this game deals with, uh, let's see, uh, deals with death, uh, regular threat of running out of oxygen, so uh, asphyxiation... Um, themes of isolation, uh, starvation, lots of Asians, um, depression. Uh, there is a, a brief cancer mention. I don't know if we'll get to that one tonight. Uh, and there's, I could probably add more to this and I, I should build upon it, but just uh, broadly speaking, uh, many vectors of family trauma um, around uh, Kathy and Claire and their dad and uh just just lots of uh, flashbacks to their family trauma and uh yes bad it's bad um so yeah it's gonna be a fun time on mars it's uh the planet where there are only the happy memories made it's gonna be great um yeah there's some out guy there's some guy out here in a really big host shipping service truck asking if you can open the loading dock trying trying to try to get the planet back um but uh yeah don't worry about it we'll just we'll hook up uh we'll hook up some tow hooks to it and uh and get some cables and uh and uh we'll we'll be right there don't you don't even worry about it um it's just uh we'll we'll get it we'll get a tow uh hey al but uh yeah um it's gone bad so you know, um, on the on the silver lining side, um, what what more what more do we have to lose? I shouldn't have said it like that. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, but yeah, we found a hologram where apparently uh, Rosa, who is the chief medical officer, who they kind of press ganged. Um, I went back and, and read up on it, um, so I've got some answers that I had uh, forgotten from uh, Deliver Us the Moon. The first one is I'd forgotten that the character William, that's just MacArthur. William M William MacArthur is MacArthur's full name. I'd, I'd remembered the name MacArthur because it's just the, the name just stuck in my head. Um, but uh, Rosa just calls him William. Um, but yeah, it's the same guy. Uh, William, Isaac, and Rosa were I don't know if they were the whole of the Lunar Council, but they were, um, e they were all members of the Lunar Council, which was the leadership of the the Moon operation who made the decision to take the Arcs and go to Mars. Rose was the dissenter, the I think actually like the lone dissenting voice on the Lunar Council, um, and that's why they ended up kind of kidnapping her anyway because they needed the medical voice. Um, even in Deliver Us the Moon, Isaac was kind of spineless uh and he just didn't oppose macarthur so Ar macarthur's always been the the person who said earth is lost screw it we need to go to mars um and isaac just didn't oppose him uh and then rosa was the the person who actually stood up to him and said no we can save earth we should stay uh so that's that's kind of been their relationship and it looks like that's continuing here um but the hologram that we saw was uh apparently isaac wanting to meet with Rosa clandestinely. So maybe they're fomenting some sort of rebellion here on Mars, which is a bit late, 
but uh, better late than never, maybe? Hey, Bad Road. Also, welcome, Raiders. Hey, Alice. Thank you very much for the raid. Hopefully, the game is well on your end. Yeah, up we go. Oh, that Isaac was spineless when that's where his health bar was. Boy, if it had been Isaac from Dead Space, that would have been just a whole different game, I think. Hi, Jasmine. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Cargo mate. Pallet 421. Uh, almost. Ready for transport. Prefab wall doorway. Okay. That's my flashlight button. Some nice chairs. So we're going this way. Yeah. Yep. Up a little bit. Over. This bit is still fiddly, but I'm actually kind of getting used to it finally. Yeah, Jasmine. You may be able to hear. A slightly complaining kitten over there. Oh, I guess we gotta go under. There we go. And now you're just knocking stuff over. There we go. Alright. Let's go back into the oxygen. Fresh plate, please. Look! That's the RP for the stream tower, right, Ayla? Okay. Let's power it up. Alright, before we power it up. Momentary pause for pause. Hey, little complainy diva. You want to be on camera? Are you over here causing a ruggas? Yeah. You're going to make a mess and knock over half of the setup of the everything. Then you get FaceTime. That's just how it is. Hi. Hello, September. Hello, Alice. Legit saw the space suit and thought this was Returnal. I mean, you know, honestly, it's got a very similar kind of a motif. Hi. There. Okay. Oh. There. You get attention while I say hi to folks. There we go. There we go. Okay. With the itchy ears. Yeah, okay. There, that's the one. That's the one. She's very talkative. Okay. May I play a space game now? No. No. There we go. The motif being, you in space, but you think you in space and thought it would be cool, but trauma, unfortunately. That's basically going to be this whole season. Uh, and, uh, near as I've got it mapped out. Um, I was actually kind of going back through our, our uh, I was going to say recently th streamed games, but it's going back for a while, actually. Um, and I have sort of an, an accidental theme almost all the way back through Tinykin, of all things, of just, like, Tinykin, Solstice, uh, uh, Plague Tale, Tangle Tower, and now this, we're just at Resident Evil Village in there, where it's just like, oh, it's family drama all the way down. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, don't worry about it, it's fine. Alright. Now then. Time to power things with lasers. And also cut things with lasers. It's just lasers all the way down. Okay, so that's... That's four power. That needs three, that needs two. And there. Uh, all right, for this thing. Power reduction field. Power the dampener. Contact. Supports multiple beams. All right, so we need to make Resistor. the four go through this way. And another three go through this way. And then we'll put this where the beams touch. That is good. There you go, because okay. it dampens them both by one. Beautiful. 
boom. Thank you, Bad Road. I'm confused. There are indie games that aren't about family trauma? I mean, okay, that you're not wrong. It's, uh, it's not a deep well. Is it? Yeah. Hooray! I fired the laser. Oh, I do love that sound. Okay. The the you successfully solved our puzzle sound. Let's go down there. Before we go down there, is there anything up here? Anything in here? No. Okay. How do we go? This way. And this way. Zigzag back. Uh, okay. There. There. Follow the laser. Actually makes a pretty good objective marker. Where are we going? I don't know. Follow the beam of light. I think Legend of Zelda has the best successfully solved puzzle sound, personally. It's a pretty darn good one. Metroid also has a, a very good chime for it, I think. There are a lot of good contenders out there. The game September was streaming recently, uh, whose name I'm blanking on because I just think about it as uh, Cyberpunk Robin Hood, um, had the uh, almost backwards uh, uh, honor of having like a really good tone for when things were starting to go bad because I really liked the music that would queue up when you started to get detected. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me out. Let me out, please. Okay. I'll do it myself. I'm gonna jump, Hayla. Okay, go. Get around that hatch. Okay, that's solid. Go. They're called Volume, was that the name of the game? Uh yeah. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Okay. Now stop. I guess when we powered the elevator, there was no guarantee the elevator would work. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. This is all about just finding the specific part of the rock that is soft enough to drive an axe into. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Let's cruise. Oh, we gotta go this way. Okay. Uh -huh. um, oh, we can just get over there. Oh, no. Oh, me. No. Ow. Couldn't catch it on the way down. Uh, I think there's a little green trail flags that are flapping. If y'all are talking about what I think you're talking about. We are not currently in atmosphere that can support vegetation. Yeah, that's a flag. that. There we go. Ah. 
Aha, there we go. Actually, got to go up. It won't let me just stop there. It looks like. There we go. Aha! Oh, we don't have a lot of oxygen. Yep. Catch a ride! Uh, hmm. Oh, this way. <laughs> no, please, after you. Leg it. Oh, faster, faster, faster. Yeah, let's go. Run, 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 run. One oxygen thing left. Oh, there's the rover. More importantly, does it have oxygen? Please walk. Oh, come on. Who goes to Mars without oxygen? <laughs> Kathy to Sarah and Ryan. If you're getting any of this, found a rover and I'm waiting out the storm to head to the Ark. I hope to see you there. Okay, out there. <laughs> okay. I feel like the ASE unit should have like a cover of some kind. Oh, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> I mean, you know, relatively, but like, yeah. You're not. No, but like you've got time to cry is the thing. has happened to our hair. That's a fun glitch. Okay, I uh, thank God it's gone. Is it gone? Yes, okay. We're good. Everything's fine. Uh is this a dust storm on Earth or is this great pictures to support my answer. Or do we think this is like blended memory with what's happening on Mars? Plants and animals. No other planet have any of this. Even Moon Bear only exists on Earth. He just visits the moon. She really cared about this planet. So what's your favorite thing? And I said Mars. Mars has nothing but rocks and dust, Kathy. No, it doesn't. It, doesn't. it also it has what? aliens. aliens. What? 
Oh, Kathy, we're, we're going to be here a while. Take a seat and let me talk to you about aliens. If there actually are, do I still have my I do have my flashlight. Yeah. If there actually are aliens at the end of this, I'm going to be slightly upset. You have to see the sunset, but only slightly. Isn't it beautiful? It is. Not right now. Never a moment to pause in time. Totally. Kathy, honey, are you okay? No. How come? <laughs> Because I miss. No, we still don't know what happened after we got stuck in the like underwater escape pod. It wasn't an escape pod, the, the underwater like cockpit. We still don't know what happened to our mom. We have a lot of questions that haven't been answered. Right, clearly we escaped, but we don't know how or or you know is that why our mom left, maybe? Like, I don't know. Isaac, the team is bigger than just you. I, I understand why you want to do it yourself. I do. I, I just sometimes wish that. I, I get it. I do. Mom was so strong. Every time Dad left, it broke her heart. I'm sorry. But everything is right in your eyes. I have to know. It has to be done right. I know. I'm so proud of you. Is Dad leaving again? Yes. For a while this time. Some new and important project. Like the NPT dish. Oh. Hey, he'll be back. He always comes back. Don't worry. Hmm. It turns out that this all happened in the last few seconds of her life as she suffocates in the outer water cockpit. I'll be slightly angry. Yeah. 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 Ooh, can we go in here? Can't go in here. That seems ominous. You're taking your moon bear snorkeling. Oh yeah, here. I don't want to go snorkeling, Claire. I want to- Come on! Uh... Tornado, windstorm. Really have to get going. And by all means, go. Is, is this real or metaphorical? Uh, take this get notarized. Give it to the judge, and you'll be all set. Fine. Uh, it, it's only temporary guardianship. Sure. I'll be back. Oh, that's Claire. Then don't. They have to. The project is almost finished, right? And then, then after that, we'll, we'll never be apart again, I promise. I really am trying to do what's best for both of you. I'll be way all the time by leaving us on our own. You're not a child anymore. And you're not a dad anymore. Somehow I feel like a mum. Temporarily. But I, I have to. I'll be back for both of you. You just have to, you have to trust me, right? It's for your future. You have to make your flight if you want to be the same on time. I'll see you soon, you right? Stay with me. I don't want to lose you. Don't 
I kind of love the, the blending of the holograms that we use that are actual, like, video recordings of actual happenings going into or overriding her own memories so that instead of just seeing her memories as they happened with actual, like, you know, people-shaped people, her memories are then replaced with these kind of ghost-like holograms instead, so they're just sort of the the facsimiles, the stand-ins. I like that visual language. Oh good, towards the silo. I'm sure it'll be fine. She commandeered a vehicle in international waters. She's a space pirate. Fabulous. I'm sorry, I missed that earlier. That's very good. Well, uh... I don't know if anyone else here played Mass Effect 1, but, uh... I have some experience with... Oh, hang on. Yes, thank God. Sarah! She's alive! Rain's alive! She did. This car isn't rolling over every time it hits a bump. That's a good point. What is this thing? Please, let's not. Let's. I, I don't. Um, let's just get those darks and continue the mission, please. Oh, that's their pod. Okay, but they're not there. We just made it to the big monolith. Ah. You? I got it. To salvage your over. I'm heading to the arc now. Good. See you soon. We. If you need to talk, I'm here. No, I. I'll see you soon. There's a working elevator underneath that will bring you right to us. We're waiting for you to go further. Stay safe. We. It actually doesn't handle that badly. Ooh, this is cool. Old dome cities. Right, notice to be dropped with the pop in buildings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah da, 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 boop. Probably in a better mental state now that she has evidence she's not the only living human on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine I would be. I'm also very glad that Ayla survived. Can I this way? Can I this way? Okay, it's another... Another more different rover. Okay. Going in here, going in here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Aha! Hey. Hey. You can open up your visor. There's air here. The facility I passed through also still had oxygen. Hey, Freya! How is that possible? No idea. Where's Sarah? She's, uh, resting. A bit further down. 
There's a door that you need to hook up to a stream point to go further. I know you might not want to hear it now, but... But Claire was one of the greatest people I've ever met. I know how much she meant to Sarah, and I can't even... I'm so sorry. Let's just... Keep going. Has anything happened? We commandeered her over, had a nightmare flashback, and met up with the rest of the team. That sums it pretty well, actually. We need to get this door. Oh! You okay? We had a really rough landing. Are you okay? Did you injury? Did you break your facial animation? I said I'm fine. You sure did. Ah! We need to find some meds. Just go. Can you get the RV hooked up? On it. Is this right back out? Oh, it is. It's a loop. Ha! Ah! Go right back in. There we go. Alright, so we're trying to get through there. Right, that's three. We're gonna need one, two, and two. What's this thing do? Connect so beams. I can split one MPT into two and reduce the power output with this. Alright. Should come in handy. I mean, yeah. We just put it there. And we do like that. R. Okay. C, huh? Okay. Wait, hang on. There. Got it. Alright. What did opening that door do? Whoop! Nope, that's the... Nope. I want to get further away from you. Now. There. Are you small enough? You are! Aha! Hehe. <laughs> there we go. I put this over here. Oh no, but I can put it out here. If I put this like there. If I do a a redirect to a redirect. Uh let's see. Go like there to there. I uh there. Okay. So each time each redirect reduces the value by one. Neat! Yep. I don't know what that does. Great job, Kelly. We've done it. Facial animation is for closers. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go find some medicine. Oh, it's so pretty at night. Right, no problem, just pick up a health bag. <laughs> Get a green bottle, just pour it haphazardly over your arm and close. Have you ever seen anything like this? I can't say that I have. It's incredible. It is. What it is, is completely inaccessible design the second the power goes out. What is that? Whatever it is, 
It's important enough that they simply refer to it as the engine. It looks like situated. <laughs> Love watching the hair just freak out every time the camera comes back to us. Only one way to find out. There it goes. <laughs> Wee. Hmm. Elevators out. Ryan, are there any stream points on that map we can use to hook it up to the emergency power? Uh, yes. That's good. Static news. electricity. There we go. Got some bad news too. The only point seems to be on the top floor. Why? You know why? There's a staircase going all the way over there. But Sarah, are you able to? <laughs> Who designed this exactly? Well, they were able-bodied, I'll tell you that much. So yes. I'm getting flashbacks to the Shinra level from Final Fantasy VII. When the battle music just starts slowing down by around, like, the 50th floor. Okay, you need to take it easy. No, I need to... Look at me. Look. The map said there's a medical wing on the way up. We're going to find you some painkillers, and then we're going to get that elevator back up and running. All right? Cat, how's this floor looking? Abandoned. I don't think we should separate. It's not a good idea. We don't have a choice. Yeah, buddy. She was left alone on the moon? For like six years. Get back as fast as I can. Okay, Mzadi. Okay. She might have some trauma about being left alone, even for like a minute. I'm just saying. Hopefully, they'll cover that. Why is the medical wing halfway up? Right. Who designed this? <laughs> That's true. Alex is here. That does help. Yeah, if the if the elevator is the only non-stairway up, power should not only be on the top floor. I have so many questions. Might be quicker that way. Hopefully. Yeah. Sure. Right. Okay. Let's split up immediately. Great plan. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're gonna have to just repeat that list if I find something. Fair. Ah. Uh... She always kept me at arm's length. There's something she finds difficult about. She's been having nightmares. Coming here is bringing back some stuff she's had to work through for a long time. And oh, but oh. can I be honest with you? Sure. She's afraid of finding your father here. Fair. Oh. Really? Why did she come on this mission? She could have just stayed back on Earth, right? Jeez. A lot. Too much, even. Stopping that woman from doing her duty to save this world is nearly impossible. Right. So, the cryopod in that first room that we just passed is the pod that she was stuck in when we got her out of at the end of Deliver Us the Moon. So maybe we just get the meds and bring them to her. Maybe it was a good idea that, that um, she didn't come any further up the wing with us. That might have triggered some bad moment. Oh, hey, meds? What we got? We got... That was not on the list. Focus and suppressed drowsiness. Oh, no. 
That coupled with the note about someone was exceeding a shift length of 10 hours by 7 hours is a bad combo. Um, like, I don't think that leaving her alone was a good idea, but compared to bringing her up into the medical wing, may also, yeah, this might have been a, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. There we go. Oh, air blink. Oop, there we go. I don't want to be that guy, but are you coming home soon? They won't let us into a later dinner slot if we miss this one. What? Nope. Uh, yeah. Caven at Herschel. Really bad one. We lost Munir. Megan is in intensive, and we just stabilized Pierre. Going into surgery in 20 minutes. Jeez. You're hitting 15 hours now? I'll grab you some food right now if they'll let me. Oh, man. Just write this down for later. And, uh, delay your period up to 19 days. Well, that's useful to have, but not relevant in this case. Uh, let's see. So, blocker. Why does someone have a picture of Isaac in the locker? Uh, no. That? Hmm. Let's just, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Oop, maybe back here. Uh, no, okay. Coffee cup gets its own seed. That's a fair point. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Over here? No? I keep... I keep hitting what is so far, thankfully, an unassigned Q button. Hello, what is that? Because in Resident Evil, it was the uh, quick turn. Because I want to just whip around and go back the way we came. Uh, why are these broken? What is with all the weird damage in this one? Or was this family photo? Huh. Alright. They found Rose's office. Alright, let me pause for a second before we get to this hologram up ahead. Let me catch up with all y'all. <laughs> it's almost as if this place was designed by a game dev instead of an architect. Hey, Dave. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Never. <laughs> This is not how a place like this rots. <laughs> My favorite game devs aren't architect story is when they first turned on destructible terrain. The dev in the dev build of Red Faction Three, all the buildings collapsed. That's amazing. Yeah, the the splitting up. First from Sarah, and then immediately from each other, uh... Seems questionable. We don't know that. Okay, so this... This is, is like, a, an encrypted memory, so we have to... We have to figure... Okay, we have to figure out, like, altitude, distance, and then... There we go. That. Further away, and then higher up. There. You'll all be escorted back to your chambers. Report to your superiors for the graveyard shift. As it is now, it's an episode of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> little project. A project I made very clear wasn't going to happen. People need help, William. People need to work. Fuck you, William. Spend nights here and off the work rosters. It only halts the progress even more. Besides, we need to keep this wing open for pregnancies. Ah, yes. All the pregnant women in the colony. Best leave some beds open to them, rather than real people who need real rehabilitation. But I didn't walk in on rehabilitation, did I? What did I walk in on, Rosa? Opposition? This place is collapsing, William. The dust storms are wearing down our walls and roofs. The mutations in Odom speak for themselves. We are cooped up inside on a planet we shouldn't be on. There is no way this will work. 
We have to return to Earth. These hardships are the cost of evolution and progress. We will push through. After everything that's happened over the past few years, do you seriously think that we're better off here than we were on Earth? Security will be down to put everything back the way it should be in an hour. Thanks for the backup. I'm sorry. I don't understand you, Isaac. You hear the same voices in the hallways. We've put years into this place and it's not working. Not enough space, not enough food, not enough progress. Why are you staying quiet? It's just not that simple. People left their families to come here. You left your family to come here. Isn't it time you saw them again? <sighs> Isaac, wait. I'm sorry. That... No, you're right. Are there any women here other than Rosa? Uh, not with speaking parts in the holograms that we've seen yet. Uh, although in a lot of the text messages, there have been references to them. But we've, I think we've really only seen the three members of the Lunar Council, and she's the only feminine voice on the Lunar Council. We came from that way. Why is this braced? Hmm. Termites? Termites? Your answer is termite. Let's go with termites. You know what? I love termites. Termites is a great answer. Giant moon termites. Giant moon termites. Love it. Let's print it. Hmm. Prison accounting terminal? MacArthur, you said... Of course you set up a fucking prison. Piece of shit. Da -da -da. MacArthur's only cut you standing guard because you're a big guy. Ah, lovely. Should write this down for later. Yeah, as evidence in the fucking war crimes yeah. tribunal. Found an entire section MacArthur transformed into a matrix. Thank you, Bob. Person. Right, pharaoh termites, you know. Violence. Like mother used to make. Stealing. They're all here together. Why would they do this to each other? Doesn't make any sense. Maybe some people didn't feel that way anymore. Maybe. Ooh, Marsman issue three. Oh no, we've missed issue two. The veiled city of Utara eclipses the astronauts' wildest imaginations. The Martians reveal their bountiful achievements. No more wars, no more hunger, no more scarcity. A civilization blessed by harmony, unmarked by turmoil or strife, as its inhabitants live in complete synchronization with one another. Will the astronaut be accepted as one of their own? Wow. Utara. A little bit. <sighs> Did we ever find out in real life if plants can grow in Mars dirt? I don't know. I Google. Thanks, hon. Oh, that door's working. Hang on. NASA experiments have confirmed. Yeah. Based on the based on the information we got from Curiosity and those projects. Uh huh. That the soil of Mars is theoretically suitable. For grain crops. Okay. Radish plants have been grown uh, in a simulated Martian soil with alfalfa as a fertilizer. Nice. Uh, it can work. All right. So theoretically, uh, using a simulated Martian soil based on the same compound sample from Curiosity. Yeah. Using alfalfa as a fertilizer. I mean, keep in mind that we can grow plants in rock. Right. I mean, we can grow like, uh, plants we, in rock. If we so. have fertilizer that we're putting in there. Right, because we can bring stuff there. with us to yeah. to to, actual, to turn rock into soil. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. The like, substrate doesn't matter so long as it holds light. Yeah. But I can and get up to the stream point to get us in. We have, and we have like a nutrient system of some kind going. So, right. like, it's possible. Neat. Thank you, man. damn near everything. Yeah. Let's go in... The tunnel. Really, the only thing to worry about is Ooh. that their food seem to be a bunch of salts. 
and those would have to get washed out first. There are a bunch of salts that would need to get washed out. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. It's really less what, what can you add and what do you need to remove. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. The lights are there. We have a splitter. Let's grab the splitter. Uh, you're what? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and you're a four. Easy. Uh, let's leave that somewhere we can actually get to it from the laser. And no reason to not go ahead and do this. Boop. Yeah, one second. Hold, please, for the distribution of libations. Libations. There, enjoy. Um, you're not getting it back. No, so it's, know. yeah. When you say borrow a soda, what you mean is take Wong door. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a two. It's in here. Uh, nothing, eh? Where's this go? In a circle. Oh, but there's another thing in there. How do I get in there? do I get in there? Uh, let's grab this first. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, got it. So, that's a four. We'll need that. We'll need this friend. Okay, I understand. I think I understand. So, this here. And then... Nope, nope, nope. Are you not? Okay, fine. Eh. There. <laughs> we'll just move the whole thing. <laughs> and then... Eh. Perfect. Okay, so that and that and that. Oh, it powers the switch. There. Aha! Thank you, Bob. Imagine how annoying this game would be if you couldn't go into the blue laser stream thing. Oh, it would be atrocious. That's no ordinary ARC button, is it, Ayla? Hmm. How are we supposed to... Uh... That's a thing that happens in Wrath that Mox and I have to deal with? Oh, no. Hey, Ayla. Got any other tricks up your... sleeve? I, uh, I think I see some medication here. Maybe it has some of that Praga Benton stuff. Huh. Good job. What is that? Perfect. This will work. And huh. is it like a Lunar Council only Iranian switch? switch? A lot of them. I mean, I guess that would make sense because Rose is on the council. Wasn't living and Isaac's on the council, and Isaac programmed Ayla, presumably. All right, I think that might be everything we can find here. I'm gonna bring these up to Sarah, and then we can figure out Our green. Super green. All right, and we're back. Twitch, what the fuck, man? I don't understand. And it's just Twitch. We didn't lose network connectivity at all. Oh, that's so weird. I mean, I guess it's not weird. It's just Twitch. It's Twitch being Twitch. Okay, looks like we're back now. Y'all back with us? Everyone back? All right. Uh, so, because I don't know where in that cutscene we dropped, uh, basically all that uh, that Kathy was saying is that we're we're gonna go climb the big chocolate bar across the way there. Uh, yeah. Twitch plus ISP is making an unstoppable team, or rather a stoppable. T yeah, no oh, good. You said you said stoppable team. That's yeah, that that is the thing. Uh yeah. So okay, good. We're back. We're back. Well, we need to get over to where that thing is. I still okay. So it does actually have like. Hang on, let me get the camera angle. It does actually have a padlock on it. So yeah, that's got to be like a special lock. 
that's just for the Lunar Council, is my guess. Right, let's grab this. Alright, so what we want... Uh, how do we do this best? Do we even need that door open? I don't know that we do. Maybe we don't. Uh, if we can get around it, we kind of don't. Because I can put... If I can work the laser through there... Boop! Put that there. Through here. Wah, 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 Point you. That's nope. I have to do R to connect to it first, and then C. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna use you in place there. Walm. If I do that, does that mean that this is a three power split or a two power split? Aha! Okay, uh, now we can reach the wall. Booyah! This is a this is a playroom. Should write this down. Please? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Top one, top one is left or right. There we go. Uh, nope. And that one is up and down. There. There you are. I mean, about three others have been looking for you. Aren't you a bit too big for that chair? <laughs> these chairs have gone unused for all these years, Isaac. Why is that? A lot of people are fearful of what might happen if they... Conceive here. We still don't know what complications could arise. Humanity evolves because we adapt, not because we stay inert in the face of adversity. If we never try, we'll never know. That's the price we pay. Do you have a family on Earth? Yes. What do you need, Isaac? <laughs> the, the dust storm hit Herschel hard. Uh, until the damage is repaired, we won't have any alloys to continue the housing the project. What about Odom? Uh, we're drafting up a ration plan to see us through the next few months, but uh, it leaked and people are refusing to work. I'll talk to Rosa. This homeward nonsense has gone on long enough. Well, well, why didn't you let her have the psychiatric ward? She could help people. She didn't try to help people. She tried to find weaknesses in the fence. But I'll handle Rosa. Why do you need a fence, Arthur? Or MacArthur? Mixed up last names and first names again. It's in here. Okay, that's kind of nifty, I'm not going to lie. Meh. And up. Is this wall made up? Great question. No idea. Whoop. That was fun. Ayla, did you see that? I teleported. 
I have new powers. I'm mutating in real time. I did it again. A third time. Okay, now it's repeatable. There we go. I think it's just loading a new area. Whoop! So a big part of the challenge in this one really is all about the fact that uh, Kathy just kind of refuses to cross her arms over when it comes to placing the spikes. Which, some of that is good climbing etiquette, but if it's that or falling, she really should be willing to just compromise a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's where we're going. Really? There we go. Oddly fiddly. <laughs> Climbing chocolate. <laughs> eh? Huh? Eh? I don't understand why there's huge vertical spaces without ladders or walkways in here. Video games. <laughs> yeah, this whole place is extremely video games. So I figured this would be a pretty good follow on to uh, Resident Evil Village, which was also very video games. <laughs> Oh, there's the elevator. Oh. Oh, no. Sarah. I'm gonna get some water. You're right. They're the same type of cryo beds that I was in on the moon. Oh. I really tried to fix the NPT with the last bit of helium three there was left. Same bit of helium three that your dad needed to jumpstart the ark and bring you here. <laughs> he caused a five year blackout. One man, one choice. It affected everyone. I'm starting to understand why Sarah keeps her hair back. He never intended to cause a blackout. Having good intentions isn't hard, Kathy. Plenty of well-intentioned people have single-handedly caused so much destruction. 
the hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Claire always knew. I just hope you do too. What this place could really do with more barricades. This almost no, oh, hello. It looks like one hell of a science fiction machine, all right. I think we can safely assume who created this. I was joking about this being Doom. All right, let's split up. Also, why are we always splitting up the moment we go into new places? Okay, before we get into this next thing, the reason for the hair flop, which has been hilarious, uh, I turned on a new setting. There's an option that is just uh, specifically for hair rendering, which it, it did make the hair look nice. Unfortunately, uh, clearly, it needs some work. Uh, but we got some high comedy out of it, so I'm not mad about it. But we'll turn it off because it's kind of funny. Does anyone know why this water looks so... Pretty? If I recall from my days of college, I think that's plankton. Plankton? You seen phytoplankton? That would light up the same way at night. Sure. No, really. We saw it on one of our first trips together. Didn't we, honey? Hmm? Where are you at? She was a bit more enthusiastic about it back then. Oh, you're here. She's there. Okay. Ayla, you got a readout on the irradiance from these mirrors. If this is what I think it is. 600 watts from the setting sun. That's impressive. <laughs> Sarah, can we talk about what you said downstairs? I think that now's not a good time. I need to focus. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. This looks like a water pump system. Yeah, you might be right. Is that what's pumping through that big globe in the middle? Just regular old water? It's a closed pipeline that keeps recycling over and over. Sarah, I think this is the MPT alignment unit for the Ark. We can use it to reconnect with Ark Lagos when we're ready for it. Good. There's no way this elevator works. Panopticon. So confident. Really? So like the central observing tower? We'll see about that. This dream receiver is destroyed. Ah. Uh -uh. Till we reconnect Arc Lagos, it's not going anywhere. Then I'm afraid the Panopticon will have to wait. Panopticon. Hey, honey. Panopticon, isn't that a, a term for something like a, a central overlook tower? Hmm. Never mind. I'm in. Come check it out. Wasn't it originally used for a central tower inside of a prison design? I feel like MacArthur probably commissioned that. I should get some analytical data if I press <laughs> three tickets to Panopticon, but you already knew that. Nice. <laughs> Are you guys reading what I'm reading? This machine completely converts atmospheric input into the chemical compound of Earth. Conversion efficiency is close to lossless. Oh, damn. It's terraforming. This might be our mother load. I mean, this technology could restore Earth's atmosphere. We could heal our planet. Right, if you can terraform Mars, you can terraform Earth. Earth could definitely use a couple of these oversized bad boys. I mean, depending on how it works. An increased oxygen signature. 
that mean? People. Well, then we should go and check it out right away. We need to finish our assessment because... But we're losing precious time. For what? To find out what happened. Shouldn't one of us scout ahead? If there are colonists still alive, we have no idea how they'll react to our presence. We need to be prepared. Agreed. Things haven't exactly looked peachy so far. If I could just take the rover, get to the facility, we can use that Kathy. information. We're going over there tomorrow as a team, prepared. It's an order. Sarah's right, Kat. We need to get some rest after... after everything. There's a room in the medical wing with some beds. I'll take first watch, you two get some sleep. Okay, thank you, Freya. That's what I that's what I remembered that that was the origin of the the term. And it's horrible. Sarah. So, yeah, I'm I'm staking bets that MacArthur is behind it being in use here. Uh Don't no, you didn't bring fucking guns on the mission. Come on. Of course they did. No, oh, I'm mad it kind of makes sense. No, because like... Because MacArthur... Oh, god damn. This sucks. Oh, this sucks. Alright, well... Maybe this will be good. Maybe this will be a good conversation for all of us to have. I'm really glad that Ryan found them. Where are you at? Nope, we went too far. I want to. We had to have some sort of strategy. Oh, well, it would be nice to know in advance that this was going to be it. Oh, that's a case. Only me and Maria knew. We didn't want to alarm anyone. Oh, so when? When would I find out? As soon as you want me to shoot someone's face off? No. No, I was going to tell you. Oh, Ryan's lost his hair altogether. I had to make sure that Kathy wouldn't find out. Oh, and yeah, everyone's lost their hair. It's a bad night for hair. Please. No, 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 no. This is not an anxiety moment. What do you think is going to happen if we find any of the Lunar Council alive? You think they're just going to come along peacefully? But that's why Maria wanted Kathy here to begin with, isn't it? To at least get Isaac to come peacefully. Yeah. Plan A. This is Plan B. That's very quick from Plan... This should not be B. It's a drastic Plan B, and I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. This should be further down the alphabet. Please, please don't. I feel like... You should get some rest. Right, plan E minimum. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, right. Hang on. Uh, hmm. Hey, quick, they're coming. He'd come for Kathy, but not Claire. I mean, people have constantly been talking about him having daughter singular. Kathy to the moon. He tried to take Kathy to Mars. Just really all too happy to leave Claire. Well, I wouldn't say happy, but was okay with leaving Claire behind several times. Kathy, where the hell are you? I'm sorry, Sarah, but you're hurt and Ryan's the only one that can help. I just thought it best you to... disobeyed my orders. Kathy, what are we doing? Kathy, that, that's not how this works. You're putting your... Pad? Yes, I copy. 
Moon Bear. Okay, kiddo, I hope you have a plan. Is our plan to get there first and talk to them? So that we don't have to get to plan B? Have we thought this through? Letting me exit the vehicle. Now let me exit the vehicle. Oh! Oh, she grabbed the case! <laughs> Are we throwing it into the abyss? Yep. No one gets the guns. Well, you know, don't hate this plan. We've got an industrial cutting laser. We don't need guns. You're not wrong. We're coming back to dead space again, but yeah. Seems abandoned this is pretty. very pretty. Like the quarry I told you about. I'm gonna go take a closer look. If you find anyone, you don't engage them on your own. Come straight back, understood? I will. Uh huh. There's gotta be something here. I don't believe that for a second. Is that light, Ula? Let's find a way down. That does not look trustworthy. Uh uh. Find a way down to make it across the ice. Uh huh. Okay. No problem. We got this. Uh. Well, I found a problem already. I'm gonna have to jump across, Ayla. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, maybe I misunderstood that. I thought it said hit over in space. Yeah. Okay. Whoop! Oh god, we're dead. So there's a lag time on that. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. The checkpoint is in midair. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. I'm gonna have to jump across, Ayla. Got it. Okay. Oh, that was close. All right. So there's a delay. Now that I know that, it should be easier. Uh, not there. Here. Okay. Uh. Okay, that's solid. That's solid. Good. Over. Let me do a safe and clear drop. Whew. 
How are you doing? Still four bars of oxygen. Cat, how are you getting on? The facility is surrounded by ice. Making my way across it now. Could be their water processing facility. Maybe. How's it going over there? We found something incredible. The missing arc is called Arcamita. Oh. That sounds familiar. That's not even the incredible bit. Apparently, That's cool. It's a seed bank. Recreate them in the bioprinter. Bioprinter? It has all the ingredients to create life. Wow. It's fucking Titan AE. Imagination we haven't seen for decades. We can bring it all back. <clears throat> we can't find it. Its location is on any records. It just finished. <clears throat> so if you find any information on its whereabouts, let us know. Alright. So Rosa diverted Arcvita and it's still out there somewhere. I wonder if that's Rosa's eights in the hole to keep MacArthur from just like just like killing her as she foments rebellion. In which case, smart. Dang, we didn't lose a single Oxycube. As I've just now taken to calling them. Mm hmm. This is fine. Whoop! Keep moving, keep moving. Please don't fall. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> uh huh. Wait a minute. What's up here? Ooh. Whatever Odin's function was, this data suggests its output was declining drastically. And that highlighted structure. I think that's where we're headed. I heard a blink. Where's the blink? Where are you? What bleeped at me? <laughs> Actually, I might have just been this. Oh. Okay. Oh, it was down here. Maybe. Saw something. There it is. Really not even trying to hide it anymore. Just had three people get in the cart openly talking about the market right in front of my face. You're the one with the badge. Stop. Oh, it's cop. I'm no longer interested in this conversation. Make a note of this. Some black market sale, I assume. Seems like they were growing food here too, by the looks of it. it says here these crops were all affected by unexpected mutations. Oh man, this looks. Eerie. Let this be a clear statement to all warehouse workers. Illegal trading of wares will be punished with incarceration. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. I think it's hydroponic farming gear. Maybe the bioprinter doesn't work so well. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where they manufactured the antidepressants themselves. Oh. Mass distributed, right along with the food. Oh. So this is what they were growing here. This entire crate was meant to serve 50 people for an entire week. That's way too little. I get why people hoarded the stuff to barter with. Oh cool, they pulled a wee happy few. One-stop shop for water, food, and self-made medical supplies. No signs indicate they were having a pretty rough time for the last few years. Almost akin to a famine. These people were starving. Yeah. What? MacArthur's pipe dream? Well, we don't know what caused the famine yet, or if he was to blame, right? I mean... Right. Will do. He was to blame for them being here, Ryan. Uh, 
that's that's height based, yep, yeah. and then that's left to right. <laughs> it was like Yeah. It was like just falling apart. <laughs> Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Really? <laughs> this convention in Amsterdam, you know, before the whole thing. And, um, what was it called? Oh, yeah, it was, it was a beach and bows or something like beach and bows. Oh, such a silly name. It's so tasty. I bet. <laughs> You know it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. I know. We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, it's, you know, science. It's an alien thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us. All the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing those meetings for whom? You should be more careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Well, uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who, who do want to be in this place? Like you? Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? Thank you, Rosa, for remembering that there are two of them. Of course I want to see this. It's just, it's just no hope. I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth, you know. <laughs> Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. You think, um... think Kathy's okay? What? O of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um... I don't even know what she looks like. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know what she's what she's into. She was so she was so young when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably. I really wanted her to be on that way. I really did. I just she couldn't, and then I left her. You know, I just left her. That. I mean, I left. Her. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad. I'm a bad father. You're not. I know. I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. I just left. I left. You're not. I left. 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 Let's, let's press on and find them. I'm fine, Ayla. Let's go. Yeah. Well, on that happy note, that's where we're going to end it for this week. Sorry, everybody. We keep ending on a... I was going to say we keep ending on a downer, but this game doesn't have a lot of, like, happy skippy moments, so it's not like there's a, a you know, lot to choose from. Um, but thank you all for coming and hanging out on, um, Family Trauma Buffet, uh, with, with Kathy and the gang. Um, more, more of this nonsense, at least some fathers have regrets. Yeah, you know, that's, let's call that a silver lining. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll pick back up with this on Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, but be sure to check out the full stream team schedule, schedule.truck.community. Um, right now, assuming the network is holding up on their end, uh, over at uh, twitch.tv slash squirrelily, I believe uh, September and Katie are going to be uh, co-op streaming Arcade Spirits, the New Challengers, assuming I got the title right, which is a fun visual novel about, uh, well, the old one was about 
uh, running an arcade. The new one, I think, is about doing an eSport, but uh, it's it's extremely cute and, uh, and very colorful, and I highly recommend checking it out. Um, so yeah, we'll send a raid their way here in uh, just a moment. So just hang out in the chat, and you'll be uh, escorted that way here uh, very soon. Otherwise, have a great week, and I'll uh, catch y'all around next time. Good night.